Hi, thanks for checking in. Uh, my last video some time back was where I was using the engine in the car doing some testing and stuff. And I found out that the engine was starving for air because of how the high pressure valves were made. The, uh, the 7,000 PSI ball valve that I had had a, a four millimeter hole in it. That's not near enough air to, to run the engine. So, also I found that the size of the cylinders were not going to be adequate for actually running the car unless you're running maybe six, seven, eight hundred PSI on it, which I don't want to do. So I've completely remodified the engine. As you can see, it does look totally different than what it did. The valves that are located right here before were mounted on top of the cylinders instead of under this plate. Now I am able to adjust the valves better in and out and also rotational wise. And in so doing, I also increased all the airlines and all the valving that's going to be used on it to a 3 8 copper line on the engine itself. And then there used to be a pressure regulator that I had mounted to the engine. I've decided to take it off of the engine and put it on the air pressure storage tank. That way I don't have five, 6,000 PSI running from the tank to the engine. It will reduce the pressure from say 4,000, 5,000 at the tank down to whatever the running pressure is gonna be on the engine. And I'm expecting that to be about about 300, maybe 350 to 400 in some cases, but it'll be much, much lower and I won't have to worry too much about all these things being under, you know, an extreme high pressure at some point. And I did also buy finally a compressed natural gas storage tank that you'll see lying in the snow. The tank is five foot long and 21 inch in diameter. It weighs 100 pounds. It's made from carbon fiber. It's rated for 3,500 PSI. It's too cold to be working on anything outside, so I won't be doing anything actually putting the engine in the car until probably spring. But in the meantime, I have to remake the pressure regulator, work on the high pressure tank. It's gonna be all new lines, all new valves. Everything is gonna be rated for a three eighths opening instead of that four millimeter, which is about a, not even a quarter of an inch. Well, this is the design of my pressure flow regulator. It looks good on paper, and that's kind of what I think it's going to end up looking like. But, as we all know, when you start putting things together, sometimes they don't work out exactly the way you want. So, some of those may have to be changed. But for now, I've got some of the parts and some of the parts are still on the way. So till I get all the parts and kind of lay them out, see how they fit together, I won't really know. But that's my plan for now. So I've done a lot of research through artificial intelligence and found that the system like I have it now, based on their recommendations and all, should run the vehicle no problem. I'm going to be shooting for 
900 RPMs minimum, which would be about 40 miles an hour. I don't really intend on driving it as a as a drive vehicle, only taking it maybe to car shows and showings just to let people see what is possible with a compressed air engine. But I will be keeping you up to date when I do do something, which like I say right now is just absolutely too cold outside and even in here with a heater, I can get it up today only up to about not even 50 degrees yet. So, um, not wanting to work on stuff when my fingers are freezing. So thank you again for checking in and any one of you that would like to follow along and see what eventually happens please subscribe, check that little notification bell up at the top so you'll be notified whenever I do send out a new video. And when things are happening, that's usually about once a week. So till then, thank you again for checking in.